Hello everybody and welcome back to Up and Farm. Today we have Field 6 is ready to go. Uh, it's uh, fully grown here if I can click the right button. Yep, should be ready to go. Let's uh, check out with a lobster. Apparently it hates me. Yep, 100% growth. It's only 8% wet. Then 56% fertilized. So we'll get to... Uh, 50% more and the ground moisture is only 6% now I could go ahead and fertilize this but it happened overnight and I don't think cheating is the best way to go about it so here we got the big class dominator 88 s that is the harvester that we decided to use and we haven't used it ever since we brought it back to the farm so let's make sure that all our settings are right and we want to enable the straw swath and turn it on so yeah this will be the first thing that we're doing I'm gonna do it as a time lapse and then I will be back here in just a minute oh as soon as I make sure this is actually working yes yes it is Shit, that was a little bit messed up. I don't know what I could have done to make it any better. I was like, okay, we'll just make straight lines. That way it's easy to bail. Nope. Okay, I'll go around. Nope. Okay, I'll do. Nope. <laughs> it was just all kinds of nope. So, yeah, that is that done. We got a lot more out of it than what I thought. I think our little trailer back there is pretty full. I thought the Metal Tech. I think it is the uh, DKB 800. I was like, oh, this field doesn't have that much in it. Uh, but this field had a lot more in it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a lot of 
a lot of product there. Yeah, this is 100% full. A200 liters. I had 4,000 liters in the other one, so that's 12. The class has like another 2,600, so we got a lot more than what I thought we were going to. And we didn't even have it plowed or fertilized 100%. So, yeah, that, that was a pretty good haul. I'm not even a little bit upset. I didn't know exactly where to put it. So I kind of come over here and took a guess of where it went and hopefully it was right. It didn't sell. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. Because, yeah, we don't need this to sell right now. I need it to hold for a little bit. The sell price is right here and that was barley. And we're going to sell it the first or second day of winter is going to be our best bet. So, yeah, that is the plan. Okay, so we'll store this. And I will... I mean, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to take the... Oh, what is it called? Windrower. Windrower to the field. I'm going to have to do that. Okay, I had a mouse because I had enabled IC getting in and out of this tractor, so that was the weird part. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and park up the class. I won't empty it out just yet. It should be fine with everything in it. We don't have any other fields to do today. So yeah, we can just uh, leave it with a tank full of grain. I don't think it'll hurt it. I wouldn't say it would hurt it. And I also try to look in the back. So yeah, I, like I turned around, I'm like, oh, Okay, now I can see it. Okay. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. I'm okay with that. I have to start it. So this field is going to get windrowed together. I'll do it off screen because I suck at windrowing. <laughs> I suck at tedding, windrowing, and mowing. But uh, in that same thought, we still have to cut, bale, or to cut windrow bale the grass field for our silage bales so that needs to be a thing that we do maybe not today but in the near future try not to hit anything here okay so I will go get the what is it the Ford the Ford has the Windrower on it. So I'll go get it and do that, and I will be back here in just a minute. Okay, so we got the hay field. It is all, or, yeah, hay, right? Yeah, hay. What we just cut? No, straw. Not hay. Straw. The straw field is all windrowed up. God, why can't I remember that for some reason? So, oh god. Yeah, we got to get that bailed, and I'm going to lease a big old baler. If I can get this to work for you. Yes, you're unfolded. Yeah, I'm going to rent the, the biggest baler that I can get that does everything I need it to do. Why is that not cutting? Is it not down? Okay, cutting now. Very odd. Yeah, we're gonna rent the Ultima C something or another. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called to do all this with. Uh, we're going to lease it. Now, I could by the Massey Ferguson. That's a great demand for wool. How much do we have? Doesn't tell me. Four grand, a thousand liters, holy moly. 1,600 liters there laying. Okay. Anyway. 
but yeah, we need to bail all this grass and everything, and I need to... What am I trying to say here? I need to bail three fields worth of stuff and wrap it. So if I bought the Massey Ferguson baler for like 10 grand or 12 grand, whatever it is, the one that we actually have money for, we wouldn't be able to wrap because I don't have the money to get one. Now I can release a wrapper and own the baler, but what I'm hoping to do is just bail and wrap this all in one go. Come by, pick it up, I guess uh, today or tomorrow. That is hail on the forecast. And get you know, just get them, like, ready. That way we can come by and get them. Because tomorrow we're going to have to harvest some more. Because it's supposed to rain on Wednesday? I think it is. One of these times we're supposed to get some rain. So, yeah, we got to get all that done. And that is the fastest way I can think of to do it. Was to print that and do it. So that is probably what I'm going to do. Actually, it is what I'm going to do. So we'll get to that here in just a second. I just want to get this cut and windrowed. Hopefully the hail does not... I wouldn't see hail as a damage to gra or the grass. But you never know in this wonderful, wonderful game. I also figured out my FPS issue. And it is not the game being dumb, it is me being dumb with my recording software. So as I think everybody here knows, I use OBS, and for some reason, it decided it liked CPU core number two, or three, one of two. One of them. I'm looking at them right now. So it's, it's unloaded right now, but this... The second I go to look at the center of the map, it spikes. And it only does it when OBS is open. So I don't know why that is. <laughs> like, I want to know, but I don't know. You know? So, yeah, that's kind of an issue. And I have no idea how to fix it. I've been reading, and there's really no fix per se. So, yeah, that's kind of something I'm just going to have to, I guess, live with. It's not showing up in the videos that I know of. And it only does it on mod maps. So it's, it's very... It's a very oddly specific thing that happens. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I put a questionnaire up on Linus Tech Tips and got basically no answer so yeah no idea what I'm gonna do but other than that uh, reason for this video being late so I went to Minneapolis yesterday with my dad who is a truck driver and decided that that would be a fun way to spend some of my time off it would be to just run around to uh, drop sites and just kind of really just dick around for a day but okay, no problem. Minneapolis is like four hours away. We left at seven o'clock in the morning. We had to be there at one. Well, first thing off, the all the drivers have to go to electronic logs. So dad's having trouble getting into his electronic log. Okay. I'm like, well, I'm gonna go grab something to eat from the restaurant right up the road. So I'm sitting there and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm like been like an hour <laughs> uh, call him well, what's wrong uh, well the e-logs messed up and I can't get into uh, log in to drive oh okay so I have to wait on his boss to get there no problem so I sit there and I eat my breakfast and his boss finally shows up they have to do something in the computer to unlock it and he comes up gets fuel and we leave you know, no problem okay yeah we're a couple hours behind we have to be there at 1.30. No big deal. Yeah, we'll be back by 5.30, 6 o'clock at the latest. No problem. You know, still plenty of time to 
make a video, edit the video, do all the fun things, and you know, have a normal day. So we get all the way up there, no traffic going in, surprisingly, going into Minneapolis. And it's not really, you know, anything eventful. The trailer we have to, we have to drop a trailer and pick up one. And uh, my dad hauls concrete panels for a company here in uh, South Dakota. So, you know, okay. They tell us all, oh, just park it over here, we'll get it with the crane. Okay, we do that, drop that. No big deal, everything's going silky smooth. So we pick up the nether trailer, it's still got like a bunch of wood and everything laid out on it. And, okay, yeah, that's just how it is. You know, you're gonna have to pick up some stuff. Not a big deal again, we sweep it all off. Get it ready to go, hook up to it. We're in like the middle of a mud bog, by the way. And it is 31 degrees. Very, very windy. God, it's always so windy. So we get it all cleaned up, ready to go. No problem. Uh, do, you know, like a walk around and everything. No issues or anything were found. So, good. Yeah, let's go back to the shop and just be done with the day. So we're going up the road. Traffic at 3 o'clock. Yeah, that's the time we finally get out of there. It's about 3, 2.30, 3, 3.30, something like that. All I know is we're, like, in gridlock. Wonderful. Let's have this meaningful day. <laughs> you know, so we're sitting there, and I don't know how many of y'all have ever been in the cab of a 379. The driver has all kinds of room. I mean, there is a shit ton of room. Passenger, now you're pretty well stuck in basically hell. <laughs> it's uh, maybe three foot squared. There's nowhere to put your legs. There's nowhere to put your feet. The chair doesn't recline. Well, the factory uh, driver or passenger seat doesn't. The driver seat's amazing. Got lumbar support and everything. You can lean back. You can really, you know, you're you're set up to to be good to go. So here I am suffering, can't move, and we finally break gridlock out of Minneapolis. Finally, okay. So we're going across this road. I don't know what all the roads are out here still, even though I've lived out here for uh, four years. So we're coming across the road, all of a sudden buzzer. Low air pressure. And it's like, ah, the trailer is locking up. Great. Wonderful. This is exactly how I wanted to go. Now, you have to remember I was the uh, mechanic for the place that my dad works. No problem. You know, we pull over. I'm like, eh, probably just, you know, bust a line or something. Sure enough, busted line on the emergency side, which is the side that releases the brakes, letting it roll. Just a busted line. Okay. Well, we'll we're empty. I mean, it's an empty trailer. No big deal. So I do a little splicing and cutting and rigging, get it all going. Tell them walk up to the truck, hit the emergency valve. Cool. No leaks. Sweet. Let's get out of here. And he reaches up and pulls the Johnny bar. Sweet. More leaks. Uh, brass fitting gets sheared off on the rear axle. And I was working on the front axle. Oh, this is... This is turning into an adventure. <laughs> so, get that fixed. Finally. Get moving again. That took an hour. And you're on the side of a busy four lane. It's not the interstate. But a very, very busy four lane. And here I am, up under there. I'm not really dressed to be out there rolling around on the ground or anything, so I'm kind of upset because I'm like the cleanest worker that you've ever seen for a mechanic. Like, I don't get dirty. I'm like that kind of person. I can take a motor completely apart. What's dirty? He has sleeves in his hands. How does he do it? Science does not know. So. We finally get rolling again. I'm a filthy mess. And just not a happy camper about it. In the least bit. We start going up the road. And have to stop at a, a uh, way station. That took a, a couple of minutes. More than what I would think. We finally get back down to the shop. Right up the trailer. Hop in the car to go home. It's out of gas. Shit. 
<laughs> stop at the gas station, put gas in, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But it's starting to get really cold. And, you know, I'm just like in that mood, like, I just want to go home kind of mood. And I'm already antsy. Look down at the clock, 8.30, going on 9. And it is a 35 to 40 minute drive from the shop back to the house. We get here, have uh, some dinner, and I'm just like, nope, going to bed. I'm tired. It's almost 10. I watched one of Dagger Winner's videos. I can't even remember which one it is. And I'll probably have to rewatch it after making this because I can't remember what happened. I think it was Green River. It was either Green River or the FS1719 comparison. One of the two, but I don't really remember. So, yeah, passed out. Woke up this morning at, like, late. Like, late, late. It's 1.45 right now. I didn't roll out of bed until, like, noon-ish. And I've been recording for an hour and 12 minutes. So, yeah. Thus the reason, this is going to be an extremely late video, and I'm very, very sorry for it. So, we got that field. It's pretty well, you know, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. We're going to take the Ford back, and the wind rower back. We're going to have to take... Hmm. Oh, I need to take some stuff with me and bring a trailer back. We'll take... What, what trailer's down there? The Perry? I think the, the Perry, the little red trailer, is... Yeah. Or is it a Marshall? It might be a Marshall. One of the trailers is in the cow barn, and we need it. One, two stack bales. Two, to carry the inserts for the Ultima compactor thingy. I always get lost in this maze, so just give me a second here. So yeah, gotta do that. And it has like a bale wrap you have to load it with, and some foil if you want to do like uh, silage bales, and a few other things, so that is something that we have to do. I've never taken this little road in. Where's this puppet stop? Oh, wow, there are so many little roads. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. So, I will go get that, and I will see you at the store, and hopefully I can give a kind of good explanation on how it works. I've used it a few times. So, yeah. We will do that. I don't know why I am bringing these back here. I can take them. Hmm. Can you not? You can get them with the forks, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, we're down here at the cow farm. All I have to do is drop this off and the mower off and grab that trailer that the Marlowe's hooked to. Hopefully it's empty. It looks empty. There's the Bergman. I need to cut some more just straight up grass and give the cows. I've never noticed that bucket there. Is that ours? Okay, slight change of plans. I'm going to bring the Merlot with us. Even though I have the Massey over at the other farm, I think that this is going to be better to load with, especially if we're dealing with uh, a couple pallets of stuff. Nothing real major, just enough to get us going. So I'm going to get down here to the store. I don't think anything's coming. Nope. Get down here to the store, rent this thing, and I will meet you back over at one of the fields. I don't know which one yet. Okay, let's see how much this is. Be under the bailing. See, this is the one I was going to get, but we have it on Augenstein, and it's just too little. That wouldn't make square rails. I don't know, 4,000 liters. 
and get this one. They're doing at 6,500 liters is what I'm really kind of shooting for. So yeah, and it bails, or it bails and it uh, the foil and the net. So yeah, it does it all. Uh, the Ford won't run it. It's uh, 25 horsepower too much. I think our Ford's right at 105 or something like that. So we're going to have to use the Fent anyway. Both of that is manually. And I don't even have enough to lease it. Holy shit. Huh. Give me just a second here. Okay, so what I've just done is grabbed all the wool that we have, uh, one pile load, and I'm gonna go sell it really quick and hopefully this will let us uh, lease the Compromat, Ultima, whatever, that baler thingy I want. Okay, so here we are pulling into the spinnery. Let's see what we get for this. Hopefully a little bit. It is still a great demand. Seven grand. Not too bad. That will get us by for today. Okay. So, this is the current Ultima. And it has some funny controls. So we hit B here to open the side cover. It comes with one roll of the, uh, what do you call it, the foil? Pretty sure that's the foil. One's foil, one of them isn't. We open up the side panel. Yeah, these are the regular bale wraps. So they go there. Uh, what is that down? So we've got, oh wait, no, that is the foil. That's right there. See, I take out foil roll. And this one lets me take out nothing apparently. So we've got to keep those full, and then they come out here and they get wrapped. So it's an all-in-one big old boy. And it is gonna cost us a lot of money. So we have to get this done. It's per day is four grand. Per operating hour is almost nine. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's expensive. So we need to use it, get it done, but we have to have some pallets here. Yeah, these, the net rolls. I'm hoping this other side is full as well. Yes! I don't know how many bells this does. Yeah, that's all. Can I please? Close. Yeah. I think there's one more thing up top. I can't really remember. Been a minute. No, it just goes in there. No other controls. Okay. So we need a pallet of the net. And we will put this. On here. And I will do this and see you back at the other farm. Okay, so I'm not sure why, but the Fent is having trouble even, like, moving this. And we have 100 horsepower more than what is required. Great, now we have wet crops. Wow. I don't know if I can bail when it's wet. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's supposed to be cloudy and tomorrow. Wonderful. Our intake is going to be very, very low. That's not good. So yeah, I still think this is a very, very good mod, but Jesus. Really? Uh, it could just be something not compatible. Probably the more real, more realistic fuel usage mod. 
So, yeah, this might take a minute, but I will see you guys back at the farm. Alright. So, we're back here at the farm. We're at field six. Let's turn off the Marlow. So we don't waste all the fuel. Get back in this. Lower the pickup down. It's using 16 liters an hour. Just to pull it. Oh my goodness. Ow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. 2.5. We're not wrapping these. I might have to turn off more realistic fuel mod. Huh. It's almost like the Fent does not have the advertised horsepower. Okay, now this should be a one and a half meter bale. Should be a big boy. Yeah, buddy. Now these are 6,000 liter bales, and weather does hurt bales, so we're going to have to keep an eye on them. You know, whenever I bought the Fent, I thought, oh yeah, that's that's a plenty big enough tractor. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting to prove it's kind of tiny. So, oh boy, I don't know where to go from here. We're going to need something different. Because this is this is bad. We made 13 bales so far, though, so that's not horrible at all. All right, so we're almost done with field six. Finally, <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so slow. I'm not sure why it's so slow. I have turned off the more realistic fuel mod, so I thought it would be decently peppy it only well let me check that before I lie yeah it says that only requires 125 horsepower and our fent 220 yeah it's 100 horsepower more 156 I don't know it's uh very weird all right so now we're in our hay field here as soon as we get there it's taking forever So let's go ahead and get it started, and hopefully this won't take too long. I'm probably just going to do a time lapse of these two fields. Because I don't have much to say while going very, very slowly doing these fields. <laughs>
Okay, so at this point, I'm just kind of looking for the remains that I would not have got with the Windrower. God, why can't I remember what the hell a Windrower is? So I know I've got like the big path there in the middle, the, the big swath, but there's little ones like this guy, which will help add up a little bit because I need, need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And we will be almost done with this. And we've done a lot. I mean, it's... There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we've, we've accomplished some things today. So I am very, very happy. Oh, there's a... There's a whole line. Driving right past it in the rear, so. I'm just trying to get the chamber. One more again. That's all I need. So we won't worry too much about what's left over here. I know there's a good little bit, but it's not enough to make a bail out of, what I'm trying to say. There it is. Oh. I meant to stop. Let's see if we can pick up the rest. At least make it tidy. Okay, we'll let this dump. Okay, so apparently I'm an idiot. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm almost always an idiot, but I don't remember the wheels being locked up until I got over here and started doing the hayfield, and all of a sudden it's like, no, dude, you're, you're not moving at all. And it come to basically an entire stop. I mean, it was just like, nope, you're done. So, yeah, now I can go fast. So, it was because of some hoses? But I've never seen that option. So, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I've never, ever, 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 ever seen press and hold Z to put on hoses. So, yeah, I think uh, I may have made a mistake earlier with what I was trying to do. Because now I can go, like, I can go down the road now. So it's a lot better. I was thinking that maybe there was something wrong with the big fouls or something. Oh boy. Anyway, I think that's going to about wrap it up for us today. This is going on to hour three, almost, of uh, recording. What time is it? It is almost six o'clock in the afternoon. Evening? Is that e yeah, it's evening time, isn't it? So yeah, I don't know... What else we could do today? I'm going to need a bigger trailer. I do know that. I'm going to go ahead and have the people come by and pick up this baler, though. That way we're not going to pay for it. Oh, but we made a lot of bales. We made 31 bales total. So we're going to have a busy, busy day tomorrow. Getting all of these guys moved and out of here. Out of my face. Get them out of here. Uh, we're going to sail... A lot of the salvage that we just made, and you're in the way, Mr. Merlot. And I shouldn't... I, I thought the counter was for how many bales I could wrap, but it's just like a, a total bale counter. So, yeah, I, I knew I wasn't going to do like a very, very good job of explaining how all of this stuff worked, but hopefully somebody else if they have any kind of problems they now know you know okay this is what you gotta look for if you're having trouble with it I'm gonna wash the Merlo really quick by the way it's nasty it's gross the other tractor the vent the vent is nasty too it needs a good bath so we're cleaning these up and that's probably where we're gonna call it for today we done everything on times five so if that gives you any idea how much time I've spent in, in game today it is absolutely ridiculous 
So yeah, we're gonna hopefully use the, it's not a Unia trailer, the Unia is the green one. I'm using the Parad, the red one, it's a little bit bigger. Um, I'm hoping to get the bales, doesn't that look so much better? Uh, all the bales put on it and ready to go tomorrow, uh, along with the Marshall trailer as well. So that is probably going to be about it for me. I'm going to wash the fence. I don't think there's anything else that we need to talk about today. Is there anything that we want to talk about? Huh. Well, I think we're doing all right. We're going to see how good we're doing uh, come winter time. Because that is like my biggest fear right now is getting ready for the winter. So I'm hoping between selling some of these big bales, because they are 6,000 liter bales, and they're huge. I mean, let me walk over here to one of them. They are big old boys. Meter and a half tall, that's what? Almost six foot? Uh, so yeah, they're, they're very, very big. See, now they're losing their, their stuff because where we done it and it was raining. So, yeah, they're going to need put up before sooner than later. But, yeah, other than that, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed today's episode. I'm sorry it's coming out so late. There is absolutely nothing I can do, though. See, now there's this hold. Never, ever seen that before. So we're going to go ahead and send it back. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I'll watch this and I will see you guys in Sunday's video. And then hopefully Sunday we will get all our bales at least kind of put up. Maybe just picked up. I mean, they're very, very big. You're talking, they're the size of three, but three normal bales. Uh, or two of them is three. Yeah, two of them is three. Because I used to pick up three bales. Each time I would clean, uh, like get the ones that we bought. So I know it seems like we made a lot of straw bales, but a lot of those are going to be sold as well because we have a lot of straw left in our cow farm from where I went on the freaking buying spree of they need straw to make manure to make the fertilizer so I don't have to buy fertilizer. <laughs> so yeah, we have some straw so we don't have to really worry about all that stuff so yeah I think a pretty productive day if we can get all this clean yeah very very gross so I will put everything up and I will see you guys on Sundays thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a good one